Howdy folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into our fifth unboxing of goodies from Hobby Link Japan. I've got Munchkin number two here right by my side to help me out with this unboxing. You want to say hi? Hi. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a peek at what I was able to order uh, from HLJ. And uh, this uh, particular order contains, I believe it was two or three. It's uh, three items in here in this box. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. You want to help me out here? And uh, which side do you think we should uh, open up here? <laughs> Make it easy for us. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. And take a peek. Now, I use the private warehousing system on HLJ. So uh, you can order items there and keep them in their virtual warehouse. Uh, so that you can uh, ship items, uh, you can, uh, instead of uh, shipping right when you order them, you can have them, uh, have them hold it for you until you have a sufficient number of items to ship at one time, which is kind of cool. They'll hold the items for up to, I think, 60 days or something like that. And uh, one of the items I have been holding on uh, in the private warehousing system for two weeks before I decided to go ahead and ship it with some other items that came in some pre-orders so let's go ahead and see uh, what we're able to get there you got it yeah, got yep it. oh i didn't catch that uh, well sorry let's go ahead and cut it a little bit better here there we go let's try that there we go yeah, oh my god see what we got <laughs> dump it dump it out dump it out and uh, <laughs> we got three items or actually uh, a little bit more than three i forgot uh, four uh, we have some bonus items that we receive, but let me go ahead and cut the uh, shrink wrap here. I'll do it. Uh, oh, you got it? Okay. You go there. there we go. Cool. Can you keep the bar? Uh, if you want it. Yay. I just want to keep the bar so I can use it on something. Got some stuff here. All stuck on the plastic. And cool. Uh, we've got uh, In the board. <laughs> three items here. Four. First item we Four. have is the uh, monthly Figure O magazine. This one is issue number 195. This is one I think is the May issue, and uh, we're into June already. And this is the one I uh, held off until we had more items to ship. I didn't want to just ship this by itself because uh, I think it would have been wasteful on the shipping cost. So I held this one in the private warehousing system until I was able to get a couple more items, some pre-order items that uh, came out. Yeah, finally came out. But let's go ahead and uh, take a quick peek at the May issue of uh, Figure O magazine. And on the cover we have uh, Spidey there. Spidey. And also Captain America, which is kind of oh, yeah. cool. Right there. Oh, it's a spidey. <laughs> yeah, the mask. <laughs> and we'll just quickly flip through uh, the magazine here. It looks like Kick-Ass there. Probably from the Real Action Heroes line. And uh, some other superhero-related uh, well, Who's that? Items. Uh, I don't know who that is. It looks like for a show or a convention or something. I'm not sure. Uh, it's probably held in Japan. Looks like you got some Iron Man stuff. Oh, uh, Hibiki. Is co finally coming out in figure arts form. So once we get that in, I can give you my Socha Henshin uh, Yeah, that guy. Yeah. And it looks like uh, some Hakaida or Kikaida uh, on there. Pretty cool. Oh, gross. Yeah. This is his brain. This is brain. Looks like some actors from the show. You got Spider Man there. And I'm Poor not sure. Spider Man. Sure, what that's from, if that's from the Hot Toys or if it's from Figma or what. Uh, but uh, since I can't read it uh, in Japanese, but the English portion says Hot Toys there, so pretty cool. And this one here is Miracle Action Figure Spider. This is a heavy Spider Man issue here. I got some more Hot Toys. I don't collect Hot Toys mainly because of the uh, price point. And uh, it's a little bit bigger than uh, the figures I normally collect. Uh, these are the 
12 inch scale figures and they they also run in the multiple hundreds of dollars so a little bit beyond my price point there looks like some hasbro releases uh stuff we've seen so far but it uh, looks like uh, japan is just getting into so i get uh stuff there yeah this is uh just coming out in the u.s uh the guardians of the galaxy legends wave what's uh this is this a four this? inch yeah that's groot that? Uh, he's uh, one of the uh, alien beings in the Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm, I'm not sure if this is a six inch line. I think it is. On that one. Got more Marvel related. This is a heavy Marvel issue here. Not just Spider Man, but uh, other Marvel characters. So, pretty cool. Uh, here's uh, more of the stuff uh, staple in, uh, in Japan there. We got, looks like a uh, Gaim and some uh, other stuff. Star Wars. Oh, you got the little bookmark there, thanks. Getting that out of the way. We got some, uh, oops. What is this? Is this for uh, Revel Tech? I'm not sure who that uh, might be. So, pretty cool. Some upcoming stuff from uh, more of the. <laughs> Traditional Japanese like uh, Gogeta, Ultraman. Ultraman. <laughs> Pretty cool. Transformer related. So, that's it. Looks like uh, some other stuff here. Pretty cool. A very heavy uh, Marvel. Marvel. Uh, here's Mazinga Z. That's Mazinga Z. Uh, it's an anime uh, when I was growing up uh, from the three zero line. Pretty cool. Zinga Z. A Zinga Z. E. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice issue. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through that again in more detail. But uh, let's go ahead. Uh, and we got a board, <laughs> which is nice packing material. Uh, that we can reuse and uh, we also had a couple pre-orders that finally came in okay let me set this down while we break the packaging on that got it yep okay. i'll get this one while you get that one <laughs> kind of easy huh yep oh my god what i can't even tell anymore it's fantastic you can't tell who it is never mind i did first <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna say done. Done? Yeah, <laughs> okay. because my friends do a competition, you gotta say done. Alright, let's go ahead and line them up here. I'm so plastic. And uh, we have a couple of figure arts, some new figure arts. Uh, and uh, they're from the uh, Gaim, uh, oh. Common Rider Gaim, or the Fruit Riders, as we yeah. like to call them. <laughs> Fruit! And, which is the latest uh, Common Rider show that's out there. And uh, we got the first two from uh, this particular subline. We have uh, Gaim there. Which is uh, the main rider. <laughs> yeah, the main rider whose uh, primary fruit is, I guess, uh, an orange. orange. It's an orange. And we also have common rider uh, Baron, or banana, banana arms. Which banana. is a banana. Banana. <laughs> Wake up, Pretty banana. cool. Yeah. It's banana rider. And I was able to pick these up for about... 3,000 I think it was. I can't remember the exact price. 3,500 yen maybe. There was a discount for pre-ordering. Uh, I think it was like a 600 yen discount or something like that. But uh, pretty cool. Uh, I was looking forward to getting these. Uh, we haven't really started watching the show. We've seen clips here and there. Uh, because <laughs> funny. Yeah, they look pretty funny. The orange sword. <laughs> yeah, and... But we're busy watching other uh, Kamen Rider shows at the moment. Uh, but as soon as we f uh, free up some uh, Kamen Rider watching time, we'll get into Gaim. I think they're up to episode 30. 20? No, I think it's 30, 32 or something Already? like that. Yeah, I was able to download uh, episode 32 recently. So I think it's either 32 or 33 that's uh, currently airing. But uh, pretty cool. Now, as part of the initial pre-order for these, uh, we had some bonus items here. Uh, we have this here that came with Gaim, or at least was wrapped with Gaim. And it's a nice display stand. It's a glossy black. And let me just see if I can take this out. Yeah, I need to take that 
I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> it's kind of tight fitting, so it's kind of hard to pull out of here. I got any gloss with it. There we go. Yeah. Pretty cool, yeah. nice glossy black uh, display base. Oh, that's no that. pegs on it, so Ooh, you just have to use the uh, your balance of the figures there. And the other um, bonus item, I guess it's uh, really a two-in-one, uh, but uh, this one was wrapped with uh, Baron, uh, Baron, uh, which is a, like a um, what do you call it? Divider? Screen divider type of What's thing? What's that thing? What, what does that mean? Uh, let's see. It usually divides a room up. Oh, oh that. It, yeah. Let's see if I can open that one up. Uh, looks like it's uh, made of a piece of cardboard here. Cardboard? Really? Yeah. It's only that long, I thought it would be longer. And you can see, uh, let me turn it over. It you get a nice gold foil type print on here. Wait, 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 let me, uh, you, get, you, you can also see there's perforations over here where you bend it, uh, which I'm not going to do at the moment, so. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't want to do it now. I want to do it later. Uh, but uh, it, you can bend it in this section here and bend that section there, and you have a nice uh, display type border. Here and uh, which is uh, pretty cool. Now I think these uh, were sh are included with each of the figures, so you have to get both figures if you want both of these uh, bonus items. Now I don't know how long they they will be available, since they're usually just with the first release of these uh, pre-orders or the uh, uh, Gaim figures. So pretty cool, nice unboxing uh, this go around from Hobby Link Japan, our fifth from uh, that uh, web store. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, oh, you want to say uh, goodbye, Mushkin number two? Thanks for Bye. helping me out, by the way. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, next time.